terms of the scale of urbanisation between now and 2050, it's the equivalent of building essentially a zero carbon city the size of New York every five weeks. And of course, we have to do it without any fossil fuels and they have to be successful, resilient, sustainable cities. I'm Alastair Parvin, I'm the CEO of Open Systems Lab and co-creator of WikiHouse. And I'm working on the question of how we can use digital technology, the web and data to reinvent the way that we design, plan and build cities in the 21st century. This is really interesting, some uh, data from the UK government looking at the buildings they procure recently uh, suggested that for every euro that we spend on a building, only 51 cents is actually on the building itself. Uh, all the rest of it is actually going on to just process. We're talking about unimaginable sums of money. Of course, we can unlock to solve almost any problem we want. Well, Alistair, what would be a few examples of radical use of data within the housing industry? For example, companies like Apis Core who are prototyping 3D printing of, of, of houses. And you have to remember that most of the forms of digital fabrication in the built environment haven't been invented yet. Mm -hmm. There's a company in the UK um, called Sublime who are doing some really, really interesting experiments in the use of AR plus data. So suddenly imagine being able to walk into a building, you can have X-ray vision and you can see where all the pipes and all the wires are. Throughout the 20th century, the assumption has been that homes and cities are built not by everyone, but by a very, very small number of large developers. All the knowledge we need is actually already here, but we're not using it. What we see is the power of, of digital technology and data to make uh, it simpler, to, if you like, to empower and to tool up um, small businesses, communities and citizens. The Wikihouse project is, it really sort of began as an experiment into this future that we could see. Suddenly we realised that with the falling cost of digital fabrication you could set a small factory up in a garage for a few thousand euros. Right? Mm. So we thought, well what if we could use that, those micro factories to manufacture high performance low energy homes. So it's like a kind of digital Lego and you can literally send those design solutions as code down a wire. We could do for the built environment what open source code had, happen had already happened in the software space, which is we could send knowledge as code, you know, put it onto the web and then somebody else hundreds of miles away could download it and use it. Send it straight to a machine, cut the parts, essentially what you end up with is a, a kind of flat pack of a house and then anyone can assemble it. A future that rocks in the intersection of data and housing is one where we can put the knowledge and the tools to build sustainable, beautiful, resilient, successful places into the hands of every single business and citizen on Earth. Yeah.